Welcome back, everybody. Episode three of Iteration Five. Wow, we are. Who knew we would get three episodes out? Um, I think we have a success rate of thirty-three percent of getting episodes yeah. out on time. Sadly, we had to kill off Fogie, which is a little rough. <laughs> Fogie's yeah. gone now. Um, yeah. No, Fogie will be back with us. I think next week. Great. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, next week. Yeah. So um, that's that's uh, good to know. Focus just away this week. Um, no worries there. So we'll we'll take over. Um, and this is now a full on, no longer esports podcast, but a designer podcast because we're all designers. So yeah. Um, sorry, last week as well for anyone who, or I guess this week for anyone who was looking forward to the last episode. Uh, we had a few technical difficulties um I'll take the on bullet. multiple That's ends so no it wasn't even just mo we had multiple <laughs> technical difficulties um but we are actually trying something new this episode um hopefully this will get episodes out actually on time weekly wednesdays 5 p.m eastern um so yeah but um let's get into it so as we're into uh, as we've started the past like two episodes with 20 questions we're gonna do something a little different today uh i'm going to Name an esports organization, and you guys will have to rank them one through five based on how successful you think they are in like esports grand total, right? And that's why you're naming the org so we can all get shit for it on Twitter. <laughs> well, so, and you don't know which one's coming next. Sorry, 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 my bad. You don't know which one's coming next. You have to rank it. You're blind ranking them. I don't know if you've oh, seen these okay. TikTok trends. I see. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, and there's no actual right answer because it's just based on how successful you think they are uh uh, i don't have five orgs off the top of my head so let me just like think for two seconds i have like three but i i I got i gotta think yeah this seems really well planned out this was not planned out at all we're just gonna fill you know while you think of an esports org because that's a really 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 hard hard i just don't want to okay you know what fine let's go let's go all right you ready okay yeah you ready yeah Yeah, yeah. whatever comes to my mind all right we're done we're starting sentinels Rank them one through five, based on how successful they are. Based on, or you're not gonna know. What's the metric? I don't know. We're gonna That's put them the in three. The first to, one we got. We'll put them in the middle. Whatever. The success over like successful think, esports organizations. That is such like a subjective. Uh, winningness. How about that? Winningness. 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 So now nothing winningness? to do with how the orgs run. I think. I think even if well they. The <laughs> I think even if they lose, they win because the memes they, they make up are pretty incredible. Yeah, that's that's my I don't know what to do about winning this because sometimes they lose games. Is that well, even a okay. though? But it's like sometimes like think of games. like powerhouses of an organization, right? Let's let's like I don't know, man. Just 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 I just picked three. the number three because it's the first one we got, so they're three. going in the middle. Okay. Oh. Second team is T S M. You are on there you should destined figured. to fail five. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Um, that next good. org. Next <laughs> org. Yeah, keep going. Next org. Is TSM, are you actually going to put TSM five? Next org. I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Okay, fine. Uh, Cloud nine. Four. They yeah. are. I know the melee. This is all of time, by the way. We're not talking recent. Oh, I thought you were talking like in the yeah, past year. Okay, do you want I'll to redo say... the TSM? Oh, well, then you no, can't. No, no, you can't. I think it's funny there. Okay. Yeah, I like. I like Cloud Nine. I put them in two. Uh, I like their valor two. and their means. Consensus is two. So we have one and four still open with the next yeah. org. I wrote them all down so I can't cheat and like get you an org that wouldn't fit. We have energy is the next one. Four. 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 Okay. Going for the next one to be nothing. Well, the next one is T1. One. All right. Yeah. I'm okay, I'm okay with the V1. Yeah. Because, I'm okay because, with the V1. You're okay with the V1. The because the T and then the one. So yeah. One. one yeah. The All right. Cool. As well as Faker. Faker. You like Come on. Yeah. He's number one. Yeah. There you go. Okay. We'll we'll okay. we'll be much better with that next week. And or, you know we can. We'll, we'll maybe we'll end the episode with another one of those. We'll be much better with that next week. But um, I probably should have came and prepared a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, quote, ca- quote Cage. I think what we should do here is I have a great idea. I'm not going to tell you what it is until we start recording. <laughs> I that did happened right say before that because I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I want to be able to explain it to the podcast as well. And so if you guys have questions, <clears throat> then they can ask too. But I just realized I didn't have anything prepared. I just saw the TikTok trend. I'm like, that's cool. Like right below in the comments if you think that was a good explanation. <laughs> 
Okay, fine. Let's let's what happened this week? Besides, let's get rid of the games. Enough of the child's play. What happened this week in esports? Um, well, for Valorant, Geeka, uh, how do you say it? Geeka or Gecko? It's Gecko. I wrote Geeko. Gecko. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> it is Gecko. I wrote Geeko on accident. Gecko, <laughs> Gecko came out. They were recently like revealed. It was cool. And oh, then, guys. They, huh? They got little guys. You, yeah, you guys got little, 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 little guys. Me, he's myself, got, and I. He's got like. He's the... literally a Pokemon trailer. Trainer. Trainer. It's kind of cute. And then the other thing was Fnatic winning BCT. So that was cool too. Even though we're all in a. It was cool to see Fnatic win something finally. It's cool to see yeah. Loud cool. not win. No offense against Loud. You guys just I, win too much. Really now, is. what do you think about Brazilian crowds, Kala? What about them? Again, do, you think do you think it sucks when they don't cheer for anyone but oh. their own team? So this, I, funny you say this. Because that's all I saw about the event. Do you remember, I don't know if you guys remember the CSGO major that was held in Brazil as well, when Furia went on that crazy yeah, run, were, and then they got they, eliminated and no like one quarters. showed up the next day. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's crazy. Um, I, I, I did really, not know that happened. That that was an insane. I remember that happened a few months back. I didn't. I'll be honest. I didn't watch VCT the lock in. I didn't watch it at all. I was too busy with work. Um, but I'm assuming that something related to the same thing happened. But it is nice I to. Think, yeah. All I heard was just that, like, after the final, like the fans, everyone just left, like before. Uh, what's their name? Before Fnatic even did interviews and stuff. Oh. So they just had like an empty arena. Okay. I feel like that's that's kind of fair. It's like, kind of fair. To be fair, know. if I like. I mean, I probably if, if an NA team was if I was there and an NA team won, I'm leaving before I don't care about the interviews. I'm sorry. I'm I could watch I want to go home before the traffic happens. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want to do. Um no, but yeah, so I, I don't I don't really blame them on that. Um but uh shifting games. Overwatch, one punch Ooh. man collaboration. That's Damn. pretty cool. I actually an anime collab. I when they first announced it, I thought it was really cool that one Punch Man was in there because that's actually one of my favorite anime and the one of the few animes in the world that I think is actually acceptable to watch in the dub because it's a lot of American humor and it's actually pretty good but um seeing that they okay. added more characters than just uh Saitama was actually pretty cool and then the Genos Genji holy what do you think of the Kiriko skin it's it's I mediocre it's a little but they, lazy they couldn't have done much more yes they could have. They could have taken that concept and put it on Sigma. Oh, <laughs> you're kind of real for that. Okay, like, the what? abilities match a lot more. That's what I'm saying. Like it's just such an easy abstraction, and they just really missed the mark on that. To keep the convo going about like One Punch Man and um, a rush related, but this is like more of a One Punch Man related. How do you feel about season two, Kala? Oh, okay. So I love season yeah. one. Season two uh, made me read the manga because it was so bad uh, animation wise. Okay. So I, I, really I, thought, I actually, I think season two is amazing story wise. Story wise is fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't like, know. What... Oh, animation department wasn't there. I didn't make it through two episodes of season one of One Punch Man. I just stopped watching. Did it you watch it, it wasn't... in in dub or sub? Sub, but it still wasn't good. You might want to watch it in dub. This is one of the ones I actually prefer in dub. I don't prefer yeah, anything in dub good. ever, but in dub it's, it's actually, actually pretty, pretty good. good. It's just because it's just American humor, and it's just a lot better. The voice actor for Saitama is amazing because I think he's. It's not like I don't know. It's well, this is an esports podcast. Let's get back to esports. But yeah, no, <laughs> I think, I think I don't even I don't even think the tornado girl is a main like she's a main character, but not the main character. You know, I mean, and, is like, Mugen Rider a main character? Yes, oh, Mugen no. Rider. No, in season one he had like four episodes. What are you talking about? That is true. He but had, like, it wasn't four full episodes. He would like show for a little. He just bit. show up. Okay, get the beat top up ten leave. tornado had like three appearances total in season one and then season two like one appearance if you had uh, to ask me to like name a one punch man character that wasn't like saitama it would be like tatsumaki i think that's her name yeah that's tatsumaki. that's the <laughs> that's her that's her that's what i mean okay. like, but, hey, like, like i know the Genos me, like robot mm -hmm. guy exists because there's that one gif of him like being like down and then going you know? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, no. It's like like esports players down like two games in a series. They oh, go on Twitter and they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, "I'm about to turn it up," and then they or go. He just <laughs> he, he just yeah. gets up from his back without moving. Yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. 
Okay, well, I guess maybe the, maybe she is the most uh, popular. I thought, uh, what do you call it? Would surely make the mix. Um, oh, the no. ninja guy. I can't remember his name. Oh, um, Quick the Sonic? Or... Dude, yeah, yeah. Old man. Is, that, is it Quick Sonic? Yeah. yeah, it is Quick Sonic. Or Fastest Sound Sonic or whatever. Something like that. Yeah. The fast person. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I want Anyways. the robot guy who's just like Dennis. a maniac. No, no like no, the, the guy in the suit is like killing everyone. The, the, the one man. that we don't know who is who is behind yeah. it. Yeah, yeah that exactly. Guy. That guy. I want that guy. Well, um, that well that's cool. Cool collaboration. I hope. I think they did a good job for their first yeah. ever collaboration. It's good for the game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. I, I don't spend money That'd on Overwatch, but I just spent 50 bucks. I don't play the game, it's to be spent. honest. I did not spend fifty. Bucks. I, I also did spend fifty bucks. So the only worth one is the Doom skin. It has a cape. No, it has I like a cape. the Genesis. It has the cape's really cool. The Genesis. The Genesis skin, I was, I was kind of meh. I think, I think it's, it's just really cool funny. I like the anime. So. That's okay. I think it's I funny like that they the gave anime. the good skins to really bad characters and then also buffed Lamp at the same time. Looks like it just makes it. The Lamp buff is kind of crazy. You're right, buffing well, to yeah, get whatever. Go. That's cool. We're not we're not talking about the patch notes of Overwatch. That's for a day when they fully break the game because that will be a topic on here. One day where they just throw the game on its head. We will talk about that. But um, continuing on with our tradition, last week's six man of the week, uh, we have a new six man this week, and the six man is Raging Styles. If you don't know who he is, uh, he is a 3D and motion designer for Sentinels, uh, and I just saw a post. A few hours ago, and I think we all did, that he has been working there for a whole year. So not that he's done anything crazy uh, recently, like in the past couple of days, but or this past week. Uh, just want to give him the props, the Six Man of the Week award, because uh, he's done a lot of cool stuff over the year. Uh, now that he's been there for a year, it's it's kind of... That's crazy he's only been there for a year. That just doesn't even feel yeah. right. It feels so much so stuff. It out feels of the there. No, I think... Th yeah. No, he's he hasn't... He's been there for over a year. Maybe I guess he, I don't know because I know when I joined Noble, he left for New York, and then it was when I joined when I joined New York is when he left to Sentinel Second Thing, right? When was so that? That was yeah, around. Was oh, that was here because yeah. I quit Atlanta. That was the time as well that I got I got reached out by New York like a month after. And then I joined TSM a few weeks later. So, yeah, no, I guess that's about right. Jeez. Congrats for a year there, Styles. That's actually a pretty uh, monumentous reward. Oh, uh, uh, accomplishment. There you go. Yeah. For a year. That was, that was what I was trying to say. Yeah. Last um, of the year in esports. Um, last of the year in esports. <laughs> it's still, like, making Steel amazing things. Yeah, amazing I mean, like, the inspiration things. from that guy just, like, never runs out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know how he's just constantly innovating and making new stuff. But. Yeah. Good for him. Congrats to you, man. Um, but shifting to the main topic of today, um, speaking of getting jobs in esports and holding them down for a year, that's what we're going to talk about today. But less, because I do know that we do eventually want to talk about generic esport job tips and whatnot. Um, we're going to kind of focus it on, since there's four designers here today, we're going to designer it. All right, we're going to design it. Yep. We're, we're going to designer it. We're going to designer it. Uh, yeah. We are going to... Uh, yeah we're gonna do design uh sorry i totally lost track because so what he's trying to say is we're just going to transition into talking about how we got the jobs as designers in esports and what that path kind of looks like yeah that but yeah. i thought of an awesome end segment remind me when we get to the end that someone remind me that i had something really cool planned are we graphically designing yeah basically um no but yeah so we're just going to talk about today more in design how if you're a designer how to transition into esports how uh -huh. to not necessarily get a job in esports because like i said we want to save that for another episode but more of how to what you can do design wise is that, that that's fair to say we're not going to tell you what to do in the interviews so i'm sorry that's that's uh -huh. another day we have to farm you out for <clears throat> views you know spread it across episodes you know we need you Exactly. Did you say we need you? A completely deadpan voice. We need you. We need you. The us. single person watching right now, we need you to keep watching. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really know how we want to start this off. I We're going to keep this much a little lax episode today because uh, I feel like the conversation will be pretty free-flowing. Uh, I don't really... 
from what I know, from at least me and Yu-Yo, our starts into esports aren't really replicatable. Um, so I don't, I don't care much to talk about my story. And Why aren't ours replicatable? Because we we were in esports prior, like before we were designers, we did other roles, and I think Momo's the same thing as well. Yeah. Well, then, like, I mean, isn't that part of it though? Like, if you oh, want, okay. in, if you want to work in an industry, shouldn't you like have a decent understanding of it? it? Understanding versus taking a different job position in the industry you want to get the position you want. It's not not. I mean, my first job position was designer. Like. I guess maybe I don't know. We don't have to talk as much about uh, what do you call? It? I mean, if we want to go backstory, I'm down for it. I don't really care. My backstory, you a, your backstory is like kind of I, simple, but I think like wow. I mean, it's simple in terms of like you played and yeah, in CS:GO, and then you managed and Overwatch, and then designed. Like yeah, I, I owned a team. Overall. It's not yeah. like it's not like what I, I. It's not like I joined a team as a designer. I owned a team and I made my own design for it. With you, Kyle said he owned a team like he owned one. Yo, you three. Yo, you three. Yeah. Sam Peak doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, you forgot about Ball So Hard University. So, is, that, what, is that Stampede? That is Stampede. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love Ball So Hard University. Best branding I've ever made. Taco Fall was our logo. If you guys know who that is, he's pretty tall. Play for the Celtics. Just like me. Play. I'm pretty. Still tall. play for the Celtics? No, he's yeah. not in the league. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he does not play in the league anymore. Uh, he's a little too, a little too slow to be in the league can't hit a shot but he's tall but yeah um okay i'm down to give a little bit of backstory i guess we can talk about our journey as designers as well um sure. now i've talked a lot so i don't want to go first let's let someone else go I'll I'll, I'll I'll go okay because i know Sai, what why I don't do. you go Yo, Sai, why don't you go <laughs> i can go um so my journey started a little i feel like similarly like we all kind of we all stemmed from overwatch so like I I was in collegiate like before the big boom happened. So I was like functioning this very small team. Um, and that kind of led me into the tier three. And then my interest with that is I, I kind of just was in a graphic design program. So kind of tried to meld my interests together. Um, but that also but culminated in me reaching out to the creative director at the New York Excelsior um, and trusting my interest to try to work with them um, as an internship when I was still in school. Um, and I got it and I worked with them for that summer. And that kind of gave me an interesting first look into what esports is and what a graphic designer in esports was, um, not to their fault, but like, I, I was still like figuring out what I wanted to be doing at the time. So that was kind of somewhat of a, wasted opportunity on my part but that eventually resulted in me doing my own kind of stuff and discovering 3d and being like wow this is the area of design that i really want to be doing um and then i kind of just kept going and then there was a volunteer position at wisp which is an overwatch contenders team um and that was when i got to really just like do something creative in 3d and like make my first project and like put myself out there um and then from that, I got jobs offered to me and then yeah, all freelance. So now I've worked with uh, the Soul Inferno, the Shock, a little bit of Riot. Um, but yeah, just like that, that kind of weird progression got me to where I am now. But yeah. Pretty, pretty linear progression. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> I would, say ex I would say exponential. Yeah, like, it's, it's started pretty slow. Like, I feel like oh, the past half a year. You've been in esports for a half year, though, and you've already gotten tier one freelance gigs. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, very exponential. Like, it started, like... You said slow. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah. Saying, I'm saying, like... Oh, I see, I see. I My started bad. at nothing. I'm starting at when you started really in esports. That's My bad. I was, yeah. I was starting when you started at esports. So, to me, it's just when yeah. you're going that way i was just saying like as i know my math terms fine. i know what math is yeah, Marketing yeah. Major. yeah Marketing major. so it's like yeah. that's kind of weird for me that i haven't like really been in it for too long and it's like it's like but yeah whatever i guess i'll go first oh second but um ignore size so, you're first. I'm, I'm not real <laughs> it doesn't exist in my eyes so um, but, 
<laughs> so basically, I guess now that we have that realization that that was a year ago, I guess three years ago, I started and I started as right when the pandemic happened. It was kind of funny. It was so I said the big boom. I assumed he he meant the pandemic. <laughs> but, um, when did the pandemic start? Like two years ago. Twenty twenty. Um. No. No. Yeah, oh, twenty twenty. That was my first year in college. Yeah. Yeah. And then early the, twenty twenty. Yeah, like, okay. early twenty twenty. Like I want to say February, March. Yeah. March. April. Late March. No, because I remember it was two days before my birthday. I had to move okay. home because of the lockdown in Georgia. So I guess it could have been early for other states because Georgia was one of the last ones. Okay, that's fair. Um, so basically, I was already in a graphic design program in my college, and I like originally was going to go be a major in the medical field, dental hygienist, and all that. You know, just a two-year degree, just like have a job. And I realized that was a, a, a mistake. And then I took graphic design as like a side hobby, like for fun as a joke. Like, what if like I continue studying dental hygiene and then you know picked up graphic design as like a side hobby, like a side hustle as a joke? And then slowly that spiraled, and then the, my college shut down, and I ended up never going back because um, I started self teaching myself. I'm sure we all self taught and like know now, but um, and then. It was like a slow progression for a year of me learning everything, getting everything together, and like looking up to other designers and stuff like that. And then I eventually um, got my first few gigs around like the year and a half mark with uh, NYXL and then Gladiators and then Gladiators slash The Guard before they exploded. Um, and then I got, um, what's it called? I got offered NYXL. I took on NYXL and I was there for four to five months. And then unfortunately I was like, uh, but it's okay. I landed another position and I work for pretty cool things. It's really exciting. So yeah, that's what I do now. I just turned it to a full career. Right on. I can go next. All right, next. Um, that, that's not how that works. I'd have, I'd have to say I'm next, and then you can call yeah, next. I know. So, I know. So, I'm next. <laughs> I'm um, Mark. No, but um, we talked. Uh, we touched a little bit about my origin, origin story, and I'm not going to talk too much about it. Uh, all my life, hated games, hated electronics. Big hockey guy. Big hockey guy. Uh, completely. Uh, this is going to be very graphic. Completely uh, shattered my right collarbone. Uh, and I was holding my left, but it's my right collarbone. Um, shattered it. Uh, couldn't play hockey for two years. And during those two years, I um, played CSGO competitively for a while. And uh, this cool new game, Overwatch, had come out at this point. It was about a, a year released, I think. So it was 2017, something, maybe even 2018. Um, it was a few years released at this point. And I was like, oh, I want to become a player here. Um, it's plat, you know, not very good. Uh, hit diamond one season later, but basically peaked out there for the next couple years um but anyways played there for a little bit and then managed um and i'll, I'll let you tell this part of the story if he wants to because uh, i don't i don't it's not super important eventually uh did some design for my own teams due to a, a lack of designers um in the field i guess um and uh, through a few you know um wow i miss a very important part of my story can I like roll it back a few minutes, guys? Can we yeah, roll, you can, you can roll back? Or... Let's let's roll Direct back a little bit. Uh, you play? When I'm like 12, all right. I, this is this is very important. This is actually like super important. You roll back. You started after 12. <laughs> let's roll back to the very beginning, right? Okay, uh, no, born. but uh, I I kind of lied about the like, hating electronics things. I just wasn't much of a gamer. Uh, I played Minecraft. That was it. And when I was 12, uh, I don't know if you guys. This was like 2012 as well. Um, Minecraft intros. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I was a big Minecraft intro guy. Uh, I made those intros and I sold them to people for like 20, 30 bucks. Um, and I picked up a lot of 3D animation skills, a few After Effects skills from there at the age of 12 and 13. Uh, dropped it back to go play hockey. Then the hockey thing happened. Then we're back to caught up to where we are. Uh, and I took those skills and put them into Overwatch. And I think at the time I was one of the only i think new york excelsior was the only other team before me that had done this 
Um, it was my stuff wasn't very good. Let me get this straight. But I was one of the only 3D designers in the Overwatch community. Um, you could almost say pioneered it in the tier two scene at the time. Um, and I took those skills. Uh, those skills led to me being uh, picked up pretty early for some freelance gigs in tier one. Um, went to work for Atlanta Rain for a little bit. Um, then eventually full time for them. Um, while there's some few other teams in there, like Noble and some other cool people. Uh, and then eventually, blah, 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 working on TSM. Um, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Still working on TSM, hitting a month in 23 days. 23 days, I'll be there officially for... Uh, did I say month? A year. Yeah, I, I, I hear yeah. month, yeah. Wait. Uh, I would have... In 23 days, I will have been there for a year, not a month. Nice. Feels like a month. Because it's been so awesome working there. Get some sponsor of the podcast. Give him um, a double thumbs up. Some sponsor the podcast. Sponsor the podcast. <laughs> you don't even. You could just give us a free like. Jersey Mike sub. It. It I'll cool. take a Jersey Mike sub just once a, once a month. That's all I need. Once, once per sub. episode, I'll eat it on the podcast. It could be a segment. <laughs> watching me eat a Jersey Mike sub for five. Minutes. I think we have a Jersey Mike's here. You could. We could also maybe. A, Maybe, maybe we rotate who gets the we sub. Just, we could rotate, yeah. <laughs> just one sub share. Me and Sock can split the sub. Sometimes yeah, the guests should have the sub. <clears throat> fair. Yeah. yeah. It, it's yeah, up yeah, to TSM, whoever yeah. you want to give the sub to. It's, you can just, yeah, as long as it goes to one of us. A wheel spin at the beginning of the video. Uh, it's like what we get on the sub? No, like who gets the sub? Uh, shipping we... would be really rough there. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna instantly get it. Gonna, and, then, and then the sub appears. The subs. No, we all have to buy a sub. <laughs> then the, whoever the will lands on TSM will cover the cost. They'll reimburse the cost of the sub. Oh, so so we, the, the, the podcast loses money overall. Yeah, we just loses. <laughs> you get a sub. How are you losing money? I don't understand. Okay, so how I started in esports design. <laughs> so I like. I don't know. I, I was into Overwatch, but probably only from like i don't know i didn't start on computer games or any games actually until i was like 14 maybe my parents were like super duper against it i at a certain point i weaseled in the xbox and then i weaseled in like a gaming laptop because i really liked photoshop or i told them that because i forget who it was it might have been like mr fruit i think like the destiny youtuber that like had like either photoshop tutorials or like used photoshop for certain things and i was like this looks cool i want to learn how to do that and so I eventually got a gaming laptop, played like weird games on there, like PUBG, which barely ran. I don't think I ever even got Overwatch running on that laptop. And then eventually I saved up enough money to buy my new computer, to buy the computer I still use now, which will soon be dead, but that's okay. But I got a new computer. That's off topic. Regardless, on topic, um, I started playing on like teams in Overwatch. The first one of those being Toronto Tide Pods, rest in peace. Um, that was like the first time I really like, Want, found time to do design and through Toronto Tide Pods as they fell apart I eventually met Callow because I was looking around for different teams and so in like 2019 I think is when I first messaged you about like hey I'm a main tank can I try out for Nocturnal yeah I pulled up that and did so, I send you that message or pulled it you up did send me that yeah. message I would love to pull that up <laughs> but <laughs> at, at, yeah so I went from Nocturnal or no, I never. I, to be clear, I didn't make it on Nocturnal. He picked Try Too Hard instead That's of my me. Dope. Try Too I, Hard. If you watching this? I love you, man. <laughs> He's not yeah. watching this. He's not watching this. He's not watching. Yeah. To read it out word for word. Hello, oh. I am the owner of Nocturnal <laughs> Esports. You recently applied for a tryout, and I was just following up to get you scheduled on one of our blocks. If you are still interested. That's fine. Yeah, that's Keep you. Going. That was me by the way and so me and Kyle became like acquainted that way but we weren't on the same team i think until i started helping out nocturnal with graphic design for like a couple weeks until Kalo decided that he hated me and i got kicked Damn. I, remember I, it. I mean i don't remember that but that i mean that lines up like it I was like it essentially happen. what happened i think i think i remember what it is um but um, we're not going to get into it. I remember. I, I don't remember what it is. I, well, I'm we were pretty... editing templates at the time. We weren't even really doing design. True. Because that's that was, I think, the issue. I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but whatever. It's... Regardless. Actually, let's just spill the drama on the podcast. Everyone wants to wow. know that. Sure. Yeah, I was interested. A... No, yeah, I'm we'll spill kidding. the drama. I'm going in. Spill the drama. <laughs> I would take the templates and use the assets 
This is before I was anywhere oh, near. I was the kidding about the drama. We don't have to go in. I was just kidding. No, I want to I want to know now. I, I want to know. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I would take the templates and use the assets. And then before I really knew anything about design or anything, I'd be like, look, I've made this, Kala. And Kala would be like, no, you didn't make this. And that made me angry. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the drama. That's it. That's really it. <laughs> So I'm, gl- I'm glad we're th- I'm glad we made it there. So anyway, uh, eventually me and Kylo started working on other teams. I think was it right into Susano from there, or were we on? Or did Hot Streak exist before Susano? No, Susano was definitely before Hot before. Streak because Hot Streak I used. Oh, I had a 3D good reveal. 3D. I had good 3D in Hot Streak. That's still one of my coolest pieces to date. Link on it. my port though. No, it's on I port, there's nowhere to link it. I don't have it anymore. Yeah. Um. How do I know it's cool? I don't know. Take my like, word for I feel it. Like, yeah, my story in design is a little different because while I know a lot of people in the space and I've done work here and there for like big clients, I wouldn't say that like for these three they can kind of like go and tell the story of like, look, this is how I made it in design. For me, it's like this is where I am in design. You know, it's a, I feel like it's a little bit different for myself, and I think that's like that's a good thing to examine throughout the podcast is like. My path is still similar to them. So in theory, the more work I make, the more I diversify my portfolio, stuff like that, opportunities will come. But I think that's probably the biggest thing we'll get into is like joining in esports, getting work out there, getting to know, like to know people. Because I feel like the most important thing as a designer is unironically just networking. As mm-hmm. long as you are talented, because I think everyone, like all the creators we know are like baseline talented. And then what's important past that is like networking. And like how to get your name out there, whether that's networking by knowing people or whether that's networking by working on pieces that are unique. Because like that's a form of networking. Like, even though it sounds kind of off, like if you are specializing in one thing that no one else is doing, you are getting more eyes on you. You're you have better shots at jobs, stuff like that. Yeah. I also <clears throat> wanna say to add on top of that, be nice to everyone. Mm-hmm. Like, drop the every, ego. I, yeah, literally drop the ego. Like oh, you are ego. There's people that can, as cruel as it sounds, could replace you on a dime. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy. Like, when I was coming up and finally leaving Tier 2 in the Tier 1, Sai was right behind me. And I was like, wow, okay. This this guy just came out of nowhere. And then they just took over what I was at. And then they just they got positions too. Like, people can replace you on a dime. Yeah. And, yeah. It's... One of the bad things that we work in one of the it's a, quote unquote bad. There's a bad part of it that we work in one of the most passionate fields is that everyone wants a job and oh, yeah. especially remote. Like I think for esports, if there is an in person position that you want and you have you fit the criteria and you will more than likely be able to get it. So I think, you know, for the Atlanta job, right? Uh, they weren't willing to relocate people because esports moment we don't have as well. It, Sometimes you just don't want to relocate someone, right? Don't have the funds yeah. for it. Um, and so it was pretty easy for me to get the job because I don't have any competition, right? Sorry. What are you guys laughing at? I sneezed. He sneezed. Okay. Um, but so, but when you're working remotely, like I have people in my Twitter DMs once a week. They're like, hey, is TSM looking for a motion designer? And I'm like, hey, I'm the motion designer. Um... <laughs> So, no, but even if we were, I wouldn't be the guy because I probably wouldn't be on the team anymore. And they're like, oh, sorry, love your work, dude. All good. But, you know, it's... it's People want jobs. There's a lot mm-hmm. of lot of people out there. Yeah. It's very competitive. I definitely say it is extremely competitive, but, like, don't treat it as, like, me versus them. I try to make friends with your competition and then, like... Make it more of a friendly competition where you guys could communicate and work with each other. Like me and Sai, when Sai first started, and then I started seeing him and noticing him. Like I started like asking him questions. We he asks me questions like what to help with Blender. Now I don't touch his Blender as much as I used to, but like I'm still trying to get back into it and stuff like that. And like I might ask him questions eventually. But, like keep it, um, keep it friendly. Like we're there's people no, at the end of the day too. Yeah, there's yeah. no reason to like burn bridges Mm -hmm. yeah like everyone's working towards the same thing which is like improvement at the end of the day so like why not improve together instead of just like isolate whatever just don't isolate yourself there's a second layer of bones what that true yeah yeah on the overwatch models there's a second layer of bones yeah you know that wow 
it's like blender things I had just never known before. <laughs> that is top ten crazy. blender moments. <laughs> That's what I'm There's saying. More bones. There's even more than the ones I already have to hide to see what my guy looks like. That's crazy. Yeah, that's. There's a lot of people that's going to be listening to that and have no idea what we're talking about. That's right fine. There, we right? have a lot of bone fans in our a lot community. Of like the three people watching, like two of them have no idea what we're talking they about. They have bones and things and knickknacks and I'm objects. I'm a close Kevin Durant. Those people watching are, my, are the real MVP. Did you say Kevin Durant? I yeah, Kevin like Durant. Kevin that's, a, that's his speech. The, the oh. MVP speech? Oh. That's like a that's like a call out, an old call out. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, we talked at the beginning. I leave. During the interviews, I don't care. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No idea. I don't <laughs> know. Like Kevin Durant. Oh, okay. I'm a big basketball fan, though. I don't know them. My bad. No, okay, Kala. I have I'm a bad. question for you. What's that? I'll get job. I'll get job. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, the best piece of advice I can give any designer in the scene is that the number one way to get a job is not, is making sure you're good in what you do you don't have to be better than other people you have to be personable you have to be able to communicate you have to be able to do the basic necessities of any job you got to be able to talk you got to be able to not like you gotta be able to take cri taking criticism is number one by far anything that a designer can learn because personally there's a lot of criticism that i get on tsm like constructive criticism let me, let me figure that let me specify you don't need to take normal criticism uh, but I get a lot of constructive criticism on TSM, and I don't always agree with it. But at the same time, I don't think I—I I don't think I'm God. I don't know what's—I don't know everything, right? I think I do. Um, no, but <laughs> it's still up for debate. I might know everything. Um, no, but I—I I don't know everything, right? I don't know everything that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so don't shake things. your head don't shake your head well, you had to come to me for something like you didn't no, know no, you I, know dude, I was testing you i was testing you, you. Know, like as socrates you. said truly being wise is knowing is not knowing everything but knowing what you don't yeah real it's, yeah uh, but socrates didn't know me yet so yeah that's fair no but for real um i don't know everything so i you got to listen to people you got to be able to take the constructive criticism and if there's something you totally disagree with you need to still do it give it a try maybe not like finish it in that way but they say make this green instead if you think it's gonna look like bad i don't know if we can curse i said the f word earlier and i apologize well, I've so did I. I yeah <sighs> Can we make the rules? Don't we? Isn't this hard podcast? Isn't this us? Like, I don't can't know. We? Wait, wait, do, we lose, do we lose the free sub? Damn, darn. <laughs> what? I don't. I see oh, other do podcasts. We lose the free sub. Oh, <laughs> I think because I'll stop swearing if I get a Jersey Mike sub. <laughs> if I get a Jersey Mike sub, <laughs> we are not sponsored by Jersey Mike's. Though. We've talked yeah. about them a lot. Though. Yeah, <laughs> it's common. No, um, I don't. I see other podcasts. They curse, but they don't ever say fuck. Sorry, I said it again, but I. I <laughs> <laughs> let it rip. You have, it have, a, I, I you have like, a subscribe button. It's better for me to say, subscribe. say the word than say the F word. Because there's another F word that's much worse that will never come out of my mouth. So I, I got to specify what it is. But anyways, hate the criticism. If you think it's going to look like shit, do it anyways. And make sure, look at it and be like, mm, I think this looks like shit. What do you think? A person who gave yeah. you the criticism, they're like, Agreed. Look like shit. Let's not. Oh, I love it. And you're just like, okay, maybe I just need to. I don't know. Do better. One of the best got advice I got, it. which was from I think it's someone that worked at Beyond the Sun. I forget exactly who it was, but it was whatever you're making for your client. Don't forget that whatever they want does not. It doesn't have to be what goes on your port. Like yeah, you can always iterate. Uh, make exactly what they want you to because that's your job, and then put what you think looks good on your port because that's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> w take. I mean, yeah. Put variations on your port. Show that you're like, like the more variations, the more that you can show that you're flexible and can get multiple things. Like the better your port looks. Like it doesn't yeah. always have to just be this final perfect product. It's great like, as well if you say this is the thing I liked. This is the thing the client liked because it shows hey. And I'm capable of doing both. I can yeah. do both. I'll make your changes even if get I. Get you a designer them. that does both. <laughs> the holy quote of the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quote of the day. Get you a designer who does both. But that's it though. They can't do anything else. We're designers at the end of the day. Nothing further. Yeah, nothing further. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, no, I think 
that's pretty good. And, and another, I'm going to, we're all over the place. I didn't set notes for today's episodes, and I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's a lot more laid back. I don't know if we like this. Let me know in the comments after you've liked and subscribed what you think of this. We're missing a um, certain presence that holds us all together. Phobie, <laughs> we're missing a glue. The even glue. if we don't have notes, Fogey kind of keeps us on topic, but for it's fine. Yeah. But I'm enjoying the episode. Yeah, I'm it's feeling. pretty good. I like, if I, I like was a viewer friends. right now, I probably would have clicked off like only once. So. <laughs> yeah, like I wanted like scroll Twitter while it was in the background, but it's still playing. The yeah, audio is still playing. Am I working during this and not paying attention? Totally, but you like, know that tweet right there—that's a good one. You should like it. I love Twitter. I don't know what that was. Anyways, well, they're um, scrolling right now. I, I got it. Stop I, and, like, it's like a it's like a fourth wall thing. Third wall, whatever. It is. Fine. It's part of the second wall. No, it's fourth wall. Yeah, it's the green wall. Because there's one, two, three, the, and then the four. Gray, the, the great wall. Here. The green wall. The great wall. Great wall. Yeah, yeah, Optic up of uh, China. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh. Uh, Anyways, okay. um, some other things. In, okay, let's let's reel it back. Let's let's. We talked about what you need to have on your skill set, right? We got that. You got to be good at your craft. You got to be uh, personable to work with. You got to be able to take criticism, <laughs> give criticism got to be able to work with others, collaborate. The basics and necessities that I think we all kind of know. But let's give some actual straightforward answers. What's the number one way you can get noticed in esports? And I think we all, I'm thinking we're all thinking the same thing, right? Make something unique. Okay, that wasn't, I mean, yes and no. We're looking for a more straightforward answer. Oh. Uh, all right, I'll say it. I'll just say it so we don't beat around the bush. I was thinking fan art. Yeah, that's what, that's what okay. I was thinking. Like, well, yeah. make, make fan art. Y unique is yes. <laughs> Not the what more, I was thinking, but more what were you unique. thinking? What were you thinking? What you were thinking? Yeah. Do something crazy. Do something, something new. crazy. Innovative. Oh, yeah. Figure art. out the next trend. Okay, but yeah. it's not easy. It's not, there's not a straight formula. There's no well, of course, there's not a to formula innovate. to that. You got to find a way to innovate. And, you know, innovation's awesome. So if you can innovate, like I said, I took my Minecraft skills and boom, 3D and Overwatch is what I did. And now look at it. Every raw reveal has 3D in it. So, not saying that I yeah. started that, but I was definitely at the start of it. Is my point. I did it before other people did. Not that I was the influencer. Does that make sense? I don't want to yeah. take that credit yet. Um, yeah. Maybe one day. <laughs> Once I retire. Do you create esports? <laughs> yeah. You create the creative esports. 30 and 30 for Cali. 30 and the creator of esports. You're running out of time. You're getting up there in age. Yeah. I'm like 21. For like three days. No, four for... years. Four oh my years. god, it, my birthday is in three days. Holy shit! I thought it was an eight. I was about to say eight. It's not in eight days. March tenth. If you guys wish me a happy birthday, I will like your tweet. That's all. That's, That's all. probably it. Uh, That's good. That's a good deal. You will comment thank you because you don't want to spend the TL. Yeah. I'm gonna wish you a happy birthday and not at you and hope you find it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll find out. It's gonna be a scavenger hunt for me. No. Say happy birthday. You know who. You know who. Um, you know who you are. If yeah, you know who you, know. you are. We should do that to me on my birthday. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think, um, Yu Yu did that to me one year on my birthday. I'm not, just, you know who just you tweeted are. happy birthday, <laughs> and then that was it. And I had to fight it. Just no it sounds like me. That That's a very Yu Yu moment. Yeah. No, but, um, back on topic, um, I think fan art's something... You know, if you can innovate the fan art, and there you go, right? There's our innovation. But it, fan art is something that you esports also needs to figure out. Um, volunteer work versus fan art. I don't think, as a starting designer, you should ever be doing volunteer work um, for a, a team or two. I I see Sai smiling because he's doing. Let me let me clarify. You shouldn't bank on volunteer work to get you to the next stage because right, yeah. a lot of volunteer work you know if you're just starting in the scene it's going to be hard for you to make these tier two teams volunteer and tier two is another story because i think there's actual stuff there but um volunteering for some random no-name team right like an orthrus esports who's heard of that if you're going to go do graphic design for them you don't like their branding you don't like working with the manager what are you two smiling about? I don't like that I can see your camera. What is going on? You both are looking down smiling. I just, I've been said the stupidest thing I've been ever said. That's fine. We'll, we'll keep going. Don't worry about it. No, um, working, it gets you the experience of working with others, but sometimes working with others in this quote unquote no name team. And I apologize to the no name teams out there, but it's not always going to be the best experience. I've taken commissions from no name teams in the past. I'm not going to name any names. Um, well, you can't. And, they don't have one. 
Okay. Well, actually, one of them turned out to be a tier two organization, but originally they were no name. When I worked with them, they had six followers on Twitter, and it Damn. was a literal nightmare working with this guy. Um, and I, I this was in my I was already full time for Atlanta Rain, so I like no i wasn't this wasn't like the beginning of my career i know i worked with some pretty insufferable people this guy was terrible he was crazy <laughs> um and you're gonna get a lot of those crazy guys because who people in to start an organization in esports you, paid up front. you have to be kind of crazy yeah well that we're talking volunteer work they're not gonna pay oh. you because they don't have just volunteer work they this did well in atlanta work. Oh, no, no no sorry i did commission that was a commission yeah but i was saying you'll meet the insufferable people yes you will yeah, yeah. And uh, honestly, if they're insufferable and it's volunteer work, run. Yeah, get yeah, out of there. Don't work there. Yeah, you can, do you it. can leave. Yeah, you can leave. If you're not you're happy free with will. the product as well, like if they're making you make all these changes and you don't like it, but they're your boss that you're volunteering for, don't work there. Do the stuff you want to make. Make the stuff you want to make. There's some. There's a personal project that when I get time, I'm going to work on it. Actually, there's two. I, I, I'm not going to name one of them because one of them's with the UEO, but that's going to be dope when that comes out. So be prepared four or five it months will from now. Come out, yeah. Two it, years over the from summer, now. maybe in a couple years, yeah. Um, when I get laid off from from esports, yeah, when both um, of us are old and decrepit and have free time, yeah. yeah. Old and decrepit. Um, well, I mean, no, Cal's already halfway there. But I'm I'm working on a, a sports piece right now, or kind of. I'm storyboarding it. It's going to be a while, but I'm working on a sports piece, and I'm doing it for an NBA team. That I it, just like watching. It's a fan piece, so no one, no one gets to tell me how to make it. I get to do what I want, and I creative freedom get to show what I want. Creative freedom is the most valuable thing in esports for a designer. So um, that's the best thing is, is when you're like trying to find your place in esports. Like you start from having this much creative freedom, and the more where's where's the camera frame, and the more successful you get, like the le- like in sometimes at least the less you'll have. So like if you're just yeah. starting. Your, the bright side is you can make whatever you want, <clears throat> but then it, it does slim down. Well, my watch is gonna. That's send... your watch making that noise. That is my watch making that noise. Wow, wow. Well, I'd, I'd say it's also more like an hourglass. To be fair, yeah, I would agree. I, I, when I said that, I was like thinking of some of the stuff Styles makes, and I'm like, granted, I haven't talked to Styles to know if that's like if someone is giving them like giving Styles those ideas or if like I I can speak on my work. Yeah, you go. For I it. get full creative freedom at TSM. Yeah. They trust me. At, at the start, I didn't, but they now that I'm about a year and they trust me enough to where I'm back to full creative freedom. I just have to keep in the brand guidelines, which yeah. for TSM they're black and white with a cool circle logo. It's kind of easy to stay in those guidelines with some red. I, I got some I colors say, sometimes. Yeah. I will say, um, colors. in order for you to like obviously begin getting noticed and anything, it also falls under like the practice of trying to get better yourself. Learn the basic rules and stuff like that and learn to live it like that lives. Learn the rules and like what like everyone else does. And if you want to try to be unique, try to bend outside those rules but still like still remaining in the same rules. I, I mean, I've kind of lost what I'm, I know what I'm trying to say. But like is it know the box that you're played in but like try to build on top of the box as well. Yeah like if you're Stretch in a sandbox Know how far you can throw the sand without the teacher noticing. <laughs> you know that like kind of. That's my sense. analogy. Of that, the yeah, that that does make that does fit my analogy. But... Did that just come off the dome, or have you? Had yeah. Yeah. That just that, I mean, I, as as someone who likes to push the envelope. Yeah, yeah, like like we're not like likes to throw sand. That's <laughs> 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 as a as a sand connoisseur. But uh, yeah, like just being able to do that. And like understanding that, it would be like really cool because like the the creators in esports are still gonna get crazy and crazier. So like you need to level up too and keep focusing on that. Like you can't just be stagnant as like um you just have to always like try to look for other things to improve that. And um what is it? What was I gonna say? Um yeah, like the, the analogy you gave just <laughs> crazy, crazy analogy. Like it's learning the basics, making sure you understand the basics to a finite detail that you can you're able to bend bend out of them. Crazy make... or innovative? <laughs> and, and... <laughs> the right saying out of the box is not innovative, but I hate to bring it to you. Mm, what if the sand landed in a pattern? It's still not innovative. <laughs> it's, it's, just it's, it's just sand it's in just a luck. pattern. Yeah, it's just like what if the sand thing. was different colors? Now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. What's... 
If it changes mid throw, like holy. Yeah, what if it's got some sand, world of alchemy in color. there? No. I, I get what I'm trying glass. to say though. Take your limitations, your boundaries, and extend them to the fullest. Like don't be so afraid to stay in those boundaries and create something boring. Or something you're not happy. It can be boring if you like that. Um, if you're not don't create something you're not happy with inside those boundaries. Try and push them to where you're happy and then as if you got to shrink back eventually like if you're outside the box you got to pull it back in make something outside the box and then recorrect yourself don't try and go off the start to correcting yourself if that that made sense right yeah it makes sense okay cool i heard someone talk about that once on a ted talk i'm pretty sure and i he explained it a lot better than i did but his is scripted so So it was a ted no e ted of talk e ted of talk i don't remember they they that was a very good piece of advice that i've never brought up till now I've never thought of it till now either, but very good piece of advice. Keep that. Go outside okay. the box, then bring it back in once if you need to. Knowledge. Knowledge. Isn't that guy like losing all his money? Is the, 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 no, the knowledge guy. <laughs> the knowledge guy. What knowledge guy? Uh, uh, here Lopez? my here my garage. That guy. Yeah, that one. Oh, that guy? Probably. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 what, that's what the knowledge thing is, yeah. I have no idea. Like Kai Lopez, about. like here in my garage. Here my, my bookshelf that's next to my Lamborghini. What, what my, oh, yeah. oh my yeah. god. Probably. That guy was just like <laughs> goofy anyway. Pretty sure he went bankrupt. You know how I got these 20 Lamborghinis? Yeah. 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 Knowledge. Knowledge, yeah. Knowledge. Yeah, Knowledge okay. didn't work. I don't have a single Lamborghini yet. Looks like, but I Get know on everything. It. I know Get everything, so something's wrong. Something's not lining up. Yeah. I think I'd know how to get a Lamborghini if I knew everything. Um, Agreed. But meal yeah, what if some, we've, we, so we've talked about kind of steer away from volunteer work because there's a lot of limitations do the fan yeah. art unless you want right. to well if you find a place that works for you and it's going to get eyes on the other thing is a tier three team right or a tier four team a team with 100 followers on twitter you create a really cool out of the box design it's going to get way less impressions than if you create a cool out of the box design for Sentinels or for oh, yeah. TSM, like fan art. You and at this point, we just want eyes on our work, right? To show what we yeah. can do. So I think even even if do it on the side, but if you really want to, like you know, speed run the uh, the full time in esports, make fan art. That's gonna how you get the most impressions. And but don't be those people that uh, that spam at the designers of the team. Like, oh, give me your thoughts. Like, what do you think of this? Like, like, do it one time. Be like, oh, impressions, would, uh, opinions would be nice. But if they don't respond, don't at them again. There was one person, he added me 12 times in a thread. I will see Jesus. if I can find it after this and send it to you guys. I'm not going to say the person, but they added me 12 times in a thread for like a month. It would, like a month in those 12 times for me to look at their TSM fan work. I did not look at it. I did not respond. Well, I looked at it, but wasn't worth the 12. Kind of hard not to look at it. At the, yeah, I mean, yeah, at that point. You if just I knew it was 12, it. I obviously had to see it at some point, right? But I didn't like it because it's, it's don't harass, all right? It was like, but um, get as many eyes on your work, right? So we got that. Uh, once you start getting eyes on your work, uh, what are we doing next? Are we taking commissions? Are we trying to find gigs? What's going on? What do we think is the best step if we're trying um, to? Uh, if you're getting eyes on your work, you're probably meeting more people, yeah? Yeah, you are definitely meeting more people. You definitely want to keep your. <clears throat> you, this is where your social media comes into play of using your like um, your profile to like say your commissions are open or you're open to working with people. Like include an email, like I start getting more professional with the way you approach things because like DMing through Twitter isn't usually the most professional thing because like those DMs can get lost randomly or like you can just sit there like you want these like an email or like hard print you can see it there. And why are you laughing? Bucky's <laughs> dancing. <laughs> Winston's dancing now, and it's like, not my fault. Oh, yeah, you definitely want to like have like uh, Evo ready and like have stuff set up so like you could just catch an Evo and read it right away. And so you have like an ease of access so like someone can contact you. And as well as like don't use a personal email, use like a work email where only work can get can get through. Um, I think. Be careful with your commissions. Don't take every commission as well. Pick and choose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pick I, choose. Don't overdo it. I still fall into the trap of like taking things that I shouldn't because I'm like, oh, it's work. But like, yes, it's work. But 
manage yourself, make sure you're not overloading yourself, make sure it's worth your while. Um, is it worth that? Cause that, that, that's, I, I was close, but like, that's an easy way to burn out like really quick is like, yeah. That's what it's, uh, so yeah. Oh, I was just saying, make sure you, you're doing it for, I know we talked earlier about like, if you're not getting a lot of commissions and maybe this doesn't apply, but I think there's a fair enough work with brands you want to work with just cause like if brand a, you don't really want to work with is giving you $1,500 for this piece, but brand B you do want to work with is giving you 1400. Take the brand B do something you're going to enjoy. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's or number and just anything. Do the things you want to enjoy in commissions, right? We're not unless you're doing this for a livelihood and you need the money. But if you're not super in need for the money, make sure you're still getting your worth. But don't take, you know, like I, I've gotten offers before of trying to make stream overlays, and they're good money for pretty famous people. I don't make stream overlays. I don't like to. They're not fun to me. So I will never take a commission like that. It's just don't. So do the things you want to do in your commissions. Don't just take it because yeah. it's money. That's true. It's also about like if we're gonna talk about commissions, we should probably touch on like setting your prices fairly. That's I fair. Like lots of people will probably, if you're just getting into esports or if you're in like this like position along the pipeline that we're kind of laying out, you probably will undercharge. It is something that happens. Mm-hmm. So it's just like okay. uh, I don't have like great insight on it, but like just. Think about like how much time you're putting into it, like what that time is worth, stuff like that. And that also like comes into networking. Like ask around, ask your friends that you've made or like other people that are do similar things to you, like what they're charging. Because if you're charging five dollars for a header, like something's wrong. Yeah, don't charge five dollars for a header. Especially not don't money. charge five dollars for anything. Yeah. My if first it, design I Commission. That's someone commissioned me, and I said five dollars in total, and it took me like twelve hours. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I, it was like my first ever thing, so I was so nervous. I didn't know how to do it, but now I or I charge way too much because, like, I think one the reasons I price myself so highly is because they're paying for my time. That's like one thing that's really important. Time is incredibly important to me. My knowledge of all the programs, as well as my programs that I, I pay for because I pay for the, my, all my programs. So pay for those three, those already alone is like pretty valuable. And then um, the communication, me just sitting down thinking and figuring out how to approach the pro- project and then like uh, give your director notes before I finish it and all that. It like takes time and effort and I charge for all of that. And it's you need to know where you are comfortable with or you think you're confident enough at, but like Sometimes other people could tell you where you're at confidently. I remember when I first, um, I'm not going to read my pay here, but when I first applied to the job I have now, my base cut was um, that I, I asked for it was 50K. And I was content with that. I thought that's where I was. That's where my skill set was. And they looked at me. They're like, we're, they're looking at your portfolio. We could definitely do better. I'm like, oh, oh okay. You so it takes LA. like you need more money than that. I mean, that's. I live in like I'm not gonna dox myself. I don't live in LA. I live two hours out from LA, but like I am. Um, eh. I live on the East Coast. It's the same thing over here. Sorry. Yeah, but like you live in you all live of California is LA. So all of Georgia is uh, Atlanta. Like it's just the real. Same thing. That's real. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know geography. You're right. But um, again, it's just um, you need to be able to like have these like thoughts in your head of like all this like information that you know that only you can do like because you're you're valuable but like also like know when to like stand down sometimes because sometimes like they just don't have the fun sometimes and that's okay this is i actually just talked to Sai about this a few days ago and i will share this little tidbit of advice Mm -hmm. um when you're doing your comms overshoot never give them your base price always overshoot because it is not a this is if you give them so if a team approaches you and they're like, "Oh, how much would you charge for this?" and you say you're happy getting fifteen hundred dollars and you say three thousand, they're not gonna be like, "We're not talking to you anymore." That's it. Um, they're just gonna be like, "Oh, that's out of our budget. Sorry, we can't do that." From there, it's a negotiation process. You say, "Okay, well, that's out of your budget. Let me 
let's re-talk, let's reconvene and reset your expectations so we can fit your budget. Let's re... Because for everything you want, it's worth $3,000. let us trim down some edges, cut down some things so we can get it to fit in your budget. And so then you're not scamming yourself. They're not getting scammed. Uh, it's just... I think I explained that poorly, but I think we get the gist, right? Don't be afraid to overshoot. Yeah, oversell just, yourself. Oversell yourself. Because sometimes they'll, they'll, just, they'll say, yeah. yeah. And then boom, you're like, whoa, I'm getting what I'm worth in esports? That's crazy. Yeah, like, they, and that happens. That happened to me once, and that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, when me and Yu Yu worked together one time. Oh, yeah, I'm like, Comcast. <laughs> you're though. laughing now, yeah. It was, I can say this now, yeah. It's Comcast. Comcast. And we were, I'm not going to say how much we made, but we, I shot, me and him shot pretty high, <laughs> and they just, Flat face looked at us and like, yeah, sure. I'm like, what? Huh? <laughs> what did you say? Like, they, you just yeah. said yeah to that much? We take those. Well, also that brings me another counterpoint. A big company like Comcast, and this is this might be up for debate. We might have the first debate of the podcast. I don't think you should charge your prices differently based on how much money the client has, because at the end of the day, you don't know what budgets are, and in esports, budgets are very crazy. Like, we see, I don't know if there's any examples I can give off the top of my head, but we see these, okay, perfect, got one, the guard. Uh, we obviously saw what happened with them two weeks ago, last week, a uh, week and a half ago. Their founding company, their, their, their management company, worth billions of dollars. But they don't give that as much to the guard, so I don't think you should charge the guard more. Like, does that make sense? Don't don't do it because you don't know what the budget is. So just yeah, don't try to play the game too. Yeah, I think what don't you're do that. Say. Yeah, don't don't and don't undercharge because it's a tier two team. Like, oh, this tier two team doesn't have money. Well, they could. I've had some tier two teams pay me more than tier one teams. Okay, I've had one tier two team pay me more than tier one teams. <laughs> <laughs> but um, as was noble. Thank you, Noble. That was awesome. I got I actually got paid really well over there for like comparatively to other teams. But so don't don't base it off the client based on how much you think your work is worth. And don't another thing, don't do hourly. I think that's something you will learn that you will get faster with your work as you do more of it. And at this point, a reveal that takes me one day take used to take me three weeks. Yeah. So don't do hourly. I think that's unless like you're not getting any better if you're just standstill, you're not getting any faster with your work, then sure. But do it based on, you think, the quality of your work. Um, yeah. Or just charge more per hour, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think there's an argument for hour. hourly if it's like a short form thing. Yeah. Like yeah. If, if you're working like five hours, I don't think, I don't think like, it, I don't think like you pricing like a flat thing you know what i mean like if you're if you're making a logo i don't think you should put a flat number on a logo you're right I especially with all the iteration yeah, yeah like like who knows how long that's going to take so you have to account for that it might keep going and going and going so yeah that, that's my only I think also like the uh in addition to size i gave it is like even if you're not in the design phase right you're in the talk phase that also is ours too like you're like drawing stuff out, talking to them about it, and then like, okay, yeah, like hourly, like I do the because like um for me personally, I charge forty an hour, and then like I will go, I'll go like the thirty, but I won't go any lower. And like usually, if someone like approaches me and like we agree on doing the project, that's when the timer starts for me. Well, what if you did hourly for the creative process, right? The mm -hmm. the brainstorming because this is the way I normally do my commissions, right? When I have them. I don't charge them until I physically start working on the product. I'll create yeah. the storyboard. Cause I don't even, sometimes I've had clients, they've given me like, Oh, they're like, Oh, this is the thing. I want to use this song. I listen to the song. I try to make it work. This is going to suck. So I don't take it. I make sure I yeah. do the storyboard first, make sure it's something I like, and then go back to them and be like, this is how much this will cost. So I think that's yeah. where I get the, the hourly thing different. Cause there's no, like, I know exactly what I'm making. There's no like, yeah hourly stuff for me but yeah. i can do too be like oh i'm gonna charge you 30 dollars an hour for the creative process or 45 an hour for the creative process yeah and yeah. then we'll get a final product we'll get a final price on the deliverable so, yeah i was like the storyboard and i would charge too like you're not yeah. like uh, that's time i just overcharge i just i do like an extra like 150 
whatever yeah. I think it's worth. Because, yeah. You know, esports. Sports. <laughs> Who needs to? They don't. They don't ask why I'm charging. No. What amount? But if Do you I... guys give breakdowns in your invoices or no? <sighs> okay. Um, yeah. sometimes. Some. I have before. Yeah, I have before. It depends on the project. I... I did one time, and I realized it just made it... I did it one time, and I'll, I'll say it, because I don't think they work there anymore. Um, Atlanta Rain, they've gotten a whole new staff since. This was my first ever commission. They, I p charged them for the roster reveal, for the storyboard, and for the recolors of skins. Um, yeah. And so I listed all those things. And like, this is confusing. Can you just say roster reveal and do the final price? And I was like, you betcha. You was bet that just for like... <laughs> their simplicity of billing like getting it approved oh probably well no i just don't think yeah i think so i think just that they didn't care the process they just wanted the final number of the full yeah. thing because they're gonna add them up anyways so i uh, don't i don't think it's a uh, yeah if they ever ask though then yeah give a breakdown explain what it's worth and if you can't do uh, that then maybe uh, you're overcharging yeah <laughs> the only breakdown i've done and i think it was on the xfinity project with momo was only because there were multiple deliverables there's a different price for different deliverables yeah. but like in terms of like breaking it down into like hours worked software yeah. use concepting like yeah like i'm not like saying revisions like, that. like we're not bringing it consumed. down like that yeah like <laughs> i make the, i i actually there was one commission i made someone pay for i was going to actually i'll say it, i don't really i don't think you'll care if i tell the story there's no nda i took a commission from altera if you guys remember them from yasimba oh yeah is. yeah yeah i remember that i didn't want to take this commission, but they're paying good money. And the ALGS LAN in North Carolina was that weekend. Um, and I had already bought tickets and whatnot in a hotel. And I was like, I really want to go to this. I can't get your video done if I go to this. But if you want to comp me for my tickets, the food I was going to eat there, and the hotel, then I'll do it. They comped me for it. I stayed home and I did it. I gave my, my stuff to other people and the thing. But yeah, so don't be afraid. It like be like, hey. I'm going to be working on this through my lunch break. Can you pay for my lunch? Like, mm -hmm. like they most of the time will probably do it. They don't, they don't mind. I'm going to I'm gonna need to Uber Eats right now. I'm going to need it. I need DoorDash. It's I need fuel. PF Chang's <laughs> on my doorstep right now. I need, I need Jersey Mike's at my doorstep. Uh, yeah. I do oh, need Jersey Mike's. I need my Jersey Mike's free sub of the day. You know, they have gluten-free subs. I really? love Jersey Mike's. That's why okay. I eat there. I'm hoping. Well, I thought TSM was just a partner with Jersey Mike's. Was just a what? Are, are TSM not partnered with Jersey Mike? No, we are partnered with Jersey Mike. Oh, but they also have gluten free subs there. What a strange sponsor. Why? Mean? Are we talking shit on the Jersey Mike sponsor? No, like, I'm oh. not. I'm just like, I don't, like, what's the connection? Uh, subs for subs. Like, that's subs. A... People, humans work at TSM. Humans I'm, like TSM. <laughs> humans need to eat food to live. Uh, okay. Yeah, like, well. like, I've seen much crazier connections. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the connection there? Like, there's. It's like We're, saying, why is a soccer team sponsored by an airline? Like, yeah, <laughs> because, okay. You no, know, you know what? If you put it like that, you know, I could see how that's gamers. Are, like, actually, to be honest with you, Jersey Mike's, like, I feel like as a gamer, I want a hoagie. You know, I don't really want to, I don't really want to make food. I don't like it when you said hoagie. That's what they're I don't know what it even means. What I, think, mean? I think it's a sub. It's just a sandwich. A sub, a sub, a hoagie. They're the same thing. Well, they, they are. Subs, they are no, no, no. I know they're the same the thing. I'm saying no, okay. I don't like it when you say hoagie. Okay. Oh my god! I don't know. If it's like catering or like I'm just like. What am I, I mean, I call it a hero. You want me to call it a hero? <laughs> no, don't call it that. Yeah, call it a football, a, no, a hero. I don't know. What a a hero is, is an a hero. Is an is an it's an anglicized version of a hero. Yeah. Oh my god! But like people have called subs heroes. Anyways, before. Vermont oh. moment. Um, Why is that a Vermont moment? I feel like that's not a Vermont moment. You live in you live in infrastructure hell. I don't want to hear it. Hey, I love my infrastructure hell because it's cheap as hell. That's for sure. Yeah, but then the roads don't work if it snows. <laughs> hey, that's yeah, you know that's funny. I thought about that the other day. That was awesome yeah, when, when I was in school. Go outside. <laughs> well, no, when I couldn't go to school, like the school was shut down for like any snow. But now it's just an inconvenience because I don't go to school. My school's online now, so yeah. they're just like oh, they don't have an excuse. Yeah, like oh hey professor, it's snowing where I'm at. And he's like, it's not snowing yeah. where I'm at. I don't care. Get online. Get online. <laughs> yeah. Hey TSM, I can't come into work today. It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they would buy that. I gotta go out sledding. You could say my internet's out. Well, okay, they would buy that, yeah, but I, I don't think they would let me. Hey, 
DSM, I want to go outside and play in the snow. I live in, actually, they probably would give me the day off, like, hey, it's snowing today. I live in Georgia. This happens once every five years. Can I just take the day off and go play in the snow like a 10 year old? Is it not snow in Georgia? No. What? Not at all. Oh, that's crazy. Um, I guess I guess that makes sense. Thinking about it, where you guys are, position wise. I feel like health. Georgia is like on the same like north southern elevation as you are right now. It's yeah, not a little yeah. lower. Yeah. Yeah, we're by doesn't... Florida. I don't know. Florida doesn't snow ever. Yeah, don't yeah, don't say we're by Florida. Near. Like, there's any positives there. But, but <laughs> you know it doesn't snow in Florida. Was my point. You know it's hot there. It doesn't do anything good in Florida. I don't know. Miami's kind of cool. Yeah, man. They have the heat. Oh, the, yeah, they got a, they have a think of all the crypto houses they have there. Disneyland or Where World. I don't know which one it yeah, is. Yeah, in Miami. Disney's that's, in that's Orlando. World. Yeah. Disney World. World. I love is... Disney World and Universal. I love Universal more. It's that's almost so... like those are made for you to love them. I do love them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not a I Disney gotta... adult, but I'm an amusement yeah. park adult. You're a Disney sure. adult. No, I'm not. You're built like a Disney adult. That's what I mean. <laughs> Damn, that was like that. That's that was that's, a target. That's like a low key like insult. Like that's, I'm gonna say that in my Overwatch ranked games. <laughs> you <laughs> you sound Disney like a adult. Disney adult. <laughs> Bro, you They're sound like be... a Disney adult is such a good. They're just gonna. I'm be... gonna I would use that earlier. Yeah, I'm actually about to use that, that earlier. This. You're acting like a Disney adult right now. Shut up. Like, I'm trying. I'm trying to queue up. Um, but uh, we're way off topic. Let's get. I mean, <laughs> I. Dude, this this episode we need Fogey here. If we got a time check, we got a time check sponsored by Jersey Mike's. I, I told you we're, we're an hour in. Oh, oh. see, this new recording method is nice. I hope everyone likes to watch it and it's good. But I don't know how long I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> Help. Um, you should. You should. We'll we'll set something up for next time. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll hit a timer next time. Yeah. Do we? Do we? Is there? I feel like. We'll probably revisit this topic in another podcast yeah. episode, more structured, more generic outside of designers. But are there any other tips we can give to the budding designers of the scene? The new designers? Oh! I have to oh. one. I was kinda... learn, learn stuff within your trade that is useful, not just inside of esports. That's my doomer tip of the day. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, make yourself a generalist to your f- parent field. Do not put 3D generalist in your Twitter bio. That. You just called out a lot of people right there. I, just, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't like it. You're going to take the heat for it. Just so you know, I haven't said a word. Yeah, but, you, but you're laughing and smiling here's and what giggling. I am, here's what I am going to say. You are a 3D generalist. If, if that's you all you do. can model and you can do all the 3D stuff. I can't model in 3D. But why would you not just call yourself a 3D I'm artist a, or a 3D designer? Well, so what's the difference between an artist and a generalist? I'm confused. One it's doesn't like, sound stupid. It's just more specific. It's like <laughs> I, I, I don't have to tell you. So there's no no actual difference. No, it, it, no, there's not. It's just a matter of. It's like walking around and calling yourself. yourself. Like if you it's put three like, D generalist on a resume, they're gonna not hire you. It's like typing <laughs> "I'm a really cool guy" and putting it in your Twitter bio. Like there's no, there's no distinction by it. It just looks dumb. I see. I see. I always thought I thought it was Each a little silly for the people to call themselves three D generalist when they just port models and. Well, give yes. them lighting. I'm like, that's yes. not a three generalist. That's you need to be generalist. able to do the animation. You need to be able to do lighting. And I think it's a fine title if you really can do all that stuff. And like, and like, I can model a, a banana and a donut, right? I'm not a 3D generalist. I'm crazy at the donuts. I'm crazy at the blender donut. Yeah. You don't crazy even want to do that. Add Taurus done. <laughs> 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 but I wouldn't consider myself a generalist because I'm missing that part of my game. I can animate very well, I think, for my field. My field. Yeah. Um, I got okay lighting, and I can do the stuff to a good amount, but I can't model, so I'm not a generalist in my opinion. But that's if you're a 3D journalist, you better be able to do all that stuff, or I'm coming at you. We're all coming at you. Real, actually. Don't or you just type 3D designer. Yeah, or you just we're... call yourself a 3D and motion designer. We're just yeah, a motion designer. Kind of cool. <laughs> at this point, motion designers have to know 3D. Real. Yeah. In any field. In... Uh, no, no. Hold on. Before you, me. Well, I, well, I, it wasn't a dismissive one. I was trying to think of like, a feel. If I'm working in a studio with other designers and I'm, okay, and I'm agency. a motion, and I'm, if yeah, if you're doing agency work, do you need to know 3D if you're also the motion person? And I think, maybe, maybe. 
I, I just see every job posting at this point that has a motion artist is huge plus if you know 3D, yes. if you know yes. Cinema 4D, if you know Maya, like Autodesk, Unreal. Like I never see Blender, though. They don't care if you know Blender. Just saying. Because it's like open source. It's like a program everyone should like be able to pick up. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Totally. Yeah, whatever that means. Everyone could just pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, just, that's that's it. It's, like, it, it's, like like, like, whole, it's like a gateway industry thing. It's like, it's oh, gate- you know, you know, you, you pay for these softwares. Therefore, we put it on our thing to yeah. have a like a gate to get into so it. So you're saying it's like it's like if you were an accountant and you knew how to use Google Sheets? Yes. And it's like, oh, do you know Google Excel? Sheets. Yeah, like a paid yeah, version yeah. of Google Sheets. You use Google Sheets, but you need it's Excel is a huge plus. Yeah. Not sheets yeah. though. Yeah, it's that. That's the logic. Google Sheets is a huge plus. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not, it's a, it's not a bad program to learn. I think it's definitely useful in like modeling and all that. Because I think that's what Blood is mainly used for is modeling. Yeah. But, like, I think I, the, I, I think just yeah. the fact that it's open source and like it's just yeah. like is it it's all easy. the add on support. Like it's definitely not industry standard, but yeah. there's a lot of arguments that I've been seeing made that it is becoming it's, industry it's getting there because like, it's really so widely so. like it's never going to do what cinema 4d does yeah that's not what it's made to do right so so yeah. get off my but, back and no i'm not planet. on your no, back I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> no I, that's a huge tip actually for 3d designers in esports and not in esports you're probably going to start with blender but learn these other programs we saw yeah. the guard towards the end of their life they learned they all like yeah. they paid for Cinema 4D classes for their, all their 3D designers because they wanted them to learn Cinema 4D. Right? I learned. I always knew Cinema 4D. I actually had to learn Blender after I knew Cinema 4D. But I use Cinema 4D, and what I've you gotten to learn Blender for deport. Deport. Oh, you can't port directly can't into port Cinema, 4D. To Cinema 4D. So I, I port them to Blender, <laughs> then export them as a Limbic. And then, Ew. So, yeah, it's not very fun. You can't. Um, you can't just f. Alimbic? Why? Because so if you f if you do an FBX, um, the bones will mess up sometimes, and Alimbic lag doesn't uh, lag as much. And so if I have mm. it down, there's a lot of customization in Cinema 4D with Alimbic. But learn Unreal Engine, learn Cinema 4D. I want to learn an Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. I'm learning that as That'd be Unreal. That's gonna help you the best <laughs> in esports and getting out of esports as well. Because, um, I can talk about this. Sure. Um. <laughs> I got a job <laughs> offer a while ago from Fox Sports, um, and they don't touch Blender. They learn Cinema 4D. They learn they're learning Unreal Engine and using that. And that's the, that's the standard. They were very convinced that Unreal Engine is going to be the end all be all because of its instant rendering. Um, so look, Which, tip, fair point. Yeah, fair yeah. point. Kind of base. They're all broadcast as well, so they're just live updates and whatnot. So learn Unreal if you can. That's. Yeah. It's has is Unreal free? I think it is. Yeah, Unreal is free. Unreal I'm getting on free. that. Yeah. I, I, we should go inside. Do you want to go on like a on a on a what's the word? An oh. ayahuasca trip and learn no, I, yeah, like, that's, what, that's that's what I was saying. Well, a pilgrimage. <laughs> oh, a pilgrimage. We're on a pilgrimage to the far off land. We lock ourselves in a room for two weeks until we both know how Unreal Engine works. I'm kind of down for that. Yeah, me too. You have I know we won't touch on. Oh, go ahead. I know we won't touch on that topic till like another episode but learning all these programs and everything learning everything in general also adds to your resume it makes oh, you yeah. look nice it makes you look knowledgeable but you gotta properly do it too like the can't... more skill the more like softwares you can become capable in and the more you can just like throw skills at an employer the more be like great <laughs> for lack of a better word the, la- the the meta is definitely be more of a generalist you can be a specialist for certain things <laughs> you know, i'm a three <laughs> But uh, you can you can be uh, a a generalist. A, a generalist is a pretty strong. But it doesn't mean like yeah, see, generalism of the field. Don't, don't be. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean have to go on your Twitter bio. Don't yeah. Yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, don't. That's what it's like. That's what it's like. Don't. It, yeah. Don't be scared to call to be like a general designer because like the fear I think like people get is like oh I know how to do all these things but I don't know how to do them well like no. You gather all these skills and combine them together yes, until yes. you eventually can do is. it all well. That's what a designer does. That's what a, a graphic designer is. In my eyes. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Use as many programs as you can. It's only going to help. Yeah. I use Photoshop a lot, but I don't think I could be a graphic designer. Like, I, I don't think I have the 
like the skill set to be like a yeah, okay, I agree. hold on. That's I, saw you wow. turn, I saw you trying to steal a box in Photoshop. Well, you know, I just didn't recording. do the I didn't do the hotkey. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. That, yeah, not yeah. That. I don't know why do Photoshop hotkey. You can do it if you put your mind to it. I believe. Yeah, in you. block me in a room for two weeks with Photoshop. Exactly. I'm coming yeah. out with that hotkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, no, but. You know, I do. I've never been a graphic designer anywhere in my career. Even when when I was twelve doing Minecraft intros, I've never been a graphic designer. But I've learned Photoshop a lot because of how much I use it in my work. And I yeah. think I could handle a junior graphic designer position. Junior, nothing beyond that. Though. Probably, I could probably handle a junior. But um, yeah. But also update your resumes. Get rid of the references section. They do not care in esports at all. So. Just don't don't yeah, waste, don't, like, don't waste your money in the real world, really yeah. either. That's true. Like it's good to have a version with references, I guess, but I, I don't think it's like a requirement. Yeah, like there's a lot of argument to tailor your resume to what you're applying to anyway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, keep your portfolio updated. That's a huge one. <laughs> We're all really bad at that. It's a very yeah. common thing. Yeah, designer, I've, 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 so much time. Momo, so thoughts much time. on in the next week making an Xfinity thing? Okay, we're not doing this on the <laughs> oh, podcast. Because we, can, we could do it on the podcast, podcast and then they expect real. it above. That's true. We it's expected that at that point. We have to do it. Yeah. Okay, maybe, probably. Maybe. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> That's as close as I'm getting to a guarantee. Last, last tip. This is a very important tip. If you want to make it in the esports world and touch an untapped market, become a Behance designer, okay? I will hire you for every one of my projects. <laughs> oh, my God. That's <laughs> I'm no, that, no, that's real, actually. Become a Behance designer. Just be someone that goes on projects, creates all the graphics, organizes your portfolio as well. Be a portfolio designer, if you designer's will. Designer's designer. Like, yeah, I would hire you because I don't have time to update my portfolio. I hate updating it. So it just looks like trash half the time. So I will hire you if there is a such thing as a Behance designer. I'll... That's where the untapped market is. That's where you're going to become a billionaire. Yeah. Right there. Start your own agency. Behance designer agency. <laughs> Behance designer. That's a million dollar idea. I want royalties when that happens to the three listeners out there. a million dollar idea, you have to have enough designers making millions of dollars for them to pay you i feel like the majority of designers like want what if it's a monopoly though it. like you have a monopolized a there's no game? other enhanced designers right <laughs> like and as designers we never update our portfolio like that's an untapped like that's a need i'm putting a hotel on park it's place. a need an untapped market like what more could you want true yeah it's a work Job from security. home there's it's <laughs> it's an untapped market there's no such thing as job security in that anyways i think that's gonna wrap up do we have any closing points before we get into the outro <laughs> segment yeah i want to go to the outro segment so we can rank esport orgs based well, on no you were yeah, before yeah, yeah. that no we're going wait what you're like what? remind me at the end of the yeah, episode yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. i think this is the episode this is going to be a bit of a longer outro and we probably should have done this with the intro but since Fogie's not here i think now is the perfect time to do it i want all of us to turn our eyes is the channel gone? Oh, to the challenge channel. What we're going to do right now is a draft, all right? We're drafting your favorite design programs. Here's how it's going to work. It's going to be a snake draft. Interesting. We're going to just oh. go in the order of the cameras, and I don't know if you guys can see my cameras, but it goes me, then you, yo Wait, then Momo, then, then Sai. So we're just going to go in a snake draft in that way. We're going to draft. 14. Hold on, there's 14. We're going to remove two and just draft three programs. We're going to draft okay. three programs each. Um, and then far off in a month or two, we're going to actually take these programs and put them in a challenge and actually okay. do Oh, that. it's doomed. Okay. So, okay, get rid of... Okay, Camera Raw and Lightroom do the same thing. So get okay, rid of so run one of them. I'm getting rid of Camera Raw. Yeah. And then... What do we I don't know. You, this octane? thing is great I'm getting because rid of neither, octane. Yeah. neither of us are picking... It's like only you were picking that, unless okay. I want to steal it. It's like you. you need Cinema 40 and Octane, but the stealing with only three, I don't know if we could do that. Okay, yeah. but well, you could have Oct there's an Octane renderer for Blender actually. But why wouldn't you just use Blender Blender Native? Because that's thanks. okay. That's Regardless, are we ready? Who, so you're you uh, where first am I pick? looking? Where am I looking? Oh, the, the challenge, the challenge chat. chat. Do you see that? Yeah. Yep. It's like Ripple. Yep. Like got a... it. Yep. No, why'd you say add Figma? Figma's there. Oh, it is. Oh, I'm just silly. You are a little silly. It's all good. All right. So 
I have had no time to prepare this, like as in thinking of what I want to draft first. And pr honestly, I don't really want to go first. I'd rather go okay. last. Do you want to <laughs> circle it? Do you want to go back around? I'll go first. No, it would be Sai, then Momo, then Yuya, then me. Uh, no, no, I hate this idea. Go first. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, Why do you not want me to go first? Hold but, on. Because if Sai goes first, then I can go second. Or no, I mean, if Kalo goes first, I can go second. Oh, I want to go okay. as soon as close as the first is. Yes. Okay. Okay. In that How case, about I go first? Um, no, <laughs> no. Okay, with my first, oh, do we need to even know what the prompt is? We don't know what the prompt is. Yeah, like what are we making? I don't know. Do we need to know the prompt? No, don't I don't think, think we so, do. Actually. No, that's that's part so. of the fun. That's part of the. I'm fun. assuming it's static. Actually, real quick, before we get into this, for the view, for the audio listeners or the viewers, um, we haven't really fully explained this. We have a list of twelve items here. The twelve you items. The list. We're gonna. I'll read the list off. Um. In just a second, we're going to pick three of them each in a draft serpentine order. Then later we're going to design. All right, cool, cool. We're on the same page. The list. Can I look up what one of them are first? What? Can I look up what? Which one, one, one do you not know? Photopia? Photopia? What is that? Oh, that was it's, my guess. That's, isn't that just Photoshop? Just online? Yeah, it's is just it? Photoshop online. Yeah. yeah, it's just Photoshop online. Oh. Um, okay, so here is the list. Here we go. Cinema 4D, Photoshop, Figma, Illustrator, Blender, After Effects, InDesign, Paint, Lightroom, Photoshop Express, Photopia, and Canva. Can we remove paint and replace that with something else? I didn't see that was on there. Who no. in the right mind is going to use Leave paint? Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Leave it. It's a challenge. Challenge, I guess. <laughs> um, but in this challenge as well, whatever programs we pick, we have to use as well. Implement them in some way. You can't just pick it as like a throw away so okay you can't pick it to steal either like i understand cinema 40s up there if you pick it you gotta use it so <laughs> i'm picking it doesn't run on my computer but i'll pick it <laughs> <laughs> um, i'm drawing in photopia right now with that being said i guess i'm with the first overall pick he's just gonna pick cinema 40 like what is this i don't know if i am he doesn't need to pick it first i don't need to pick it first but yeah, i think like... i'm actually gonna pick and are we creating a still? Let's just get that. Yeah. What is the still. medium here? It's a still. Mm -hmm. a, a still. A poster. Okay. A poster. How about that? Okay. A poster. Got but... it. Understood. Okay. I'm glad okay, we said that because I was gonna pick After Effects, but I don't really want that anymore. So glad we're uh, on that bit. I'm gonna pick Photoshop. <laughs> Shocking. Shocking. That's oh, wow. really Great. nice of you. First of all, pick Photoshop. The pick is in, and it's Photoshop. Uh, let me let me mark it off the thing so we can. The person with the least Photoshop knowledge. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's just like such a troll. I don't know. such a wild thing to do. It's all part of my plan. All right, you you have the next pick. Okay. Uh, I'm taking Blender. Blender. Oh, I hate these. So I hate size. So oh, that's fair. Momo. That's fair. A lot of, a lot of opportunity there. Uh, that would be what I saw. Momo, with the next pick, you are uh, picking. Give me Illustrator. Illustrator. Solid pick. I don't know how to use that program. So <laughs> at all? No, I, know. What? I wouldn't know how to use it in the poster. I could figure oh, it's it out. Good. It's a... I'd draw something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh Sai, you have the fourth. Give me after effects. Bold move. And with that, that you also have the fifth pick in the draft. Mm. Last. Perks of a serpentine draft. Yeah, I'm thinking. Between InDesign and Cinema 4D. I don't know what work in design. I don't even know. I can't even help you choose. I don't even know what the hell InDesign is. I'm going to pick Cinema 4D. I'm give right. myself a challenge. All right. You make sure it runs on your computer. It's all yeah, fun. I'll figure it out. Um, all right, cool. Oh, also, we, we forgot to mention, everyone here gets like a Flickr and Envato elements to get basic assets from. All right, cool. Good, cool. Momo, you have the sixth pick in the draft. Fake that. Let's see, can't pick Figma. Fuck! <laughs> oh my God, that's my baby. I love Figma. I love Figma so much. All right. Now, you you have the seventh pick in the draft. InDesign. Draw. InDesign. I don't know. What I don't know is. how useful InDesign is going to be. It doesn't make anything. That's why. Can I'm you confused. not? Can you not put photos into it? I don't you know. You can, but like you, you can. can. Like, there's like there's no like. It's, really... it's just it's formatting. Oh, it's, it's, okay. It's Photopia. For I'm not no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> let's be Photopia, please. I think we should let him get Photopia. Fine. That's okay. You're just sending him, InDesign back out. Yeah. Sorry, InDesign. Were... Someone, someone who would like tell it, who would like a paragraph on their thing. You are falling to the third round. Oh wow. Okay. So I get the 
eighth and ninth pick, right? That's what we're on. That's how it works. I will pick your last two picks. So. Lightroom. Dang. Oh, I don't know what else I want. Don't give me a rundown what the hell InDesign is. Because it seems like it's uh, a hot You can company. put images and okay. text in a grid. And that's it. Have fun. I have Photoshop, that's... so I don't really need that. No, yeah, you don't. you don't need that at all. It's you all have to make it. use of it. So Yeah, I know. That's the problem is that whatever I do pick here at the end, I have to make use of. Like, quite literally, if you pick InDesign, you can just take whatever you made in the other program and just stick it on there. And that is using InDesign. No, you have to kind of, you have to like actually, you, like you have to be able to. Okay, you can make a text box in InDesign. Kind of annoyed that you took Lightroom. I think that was a Why? great pick by me. Yeah, I like, I I want, I want, like what I does want Lightroom to... do? You just no, no, hear me out. I was gonna take my Blender render, put it into Photopea, add text, and then put it into Lightroom and add noise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Photopea Genius. can add That's noise. why I picked After Effects because it does everything. After Effects does. It's just Photoshop. Yeah, 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 it is Photoshop, but. but... And like a lot laggier, but long, <laughs> harder to work. <laughs> uh, you know, what I still have another pick. Um, okay, I'm also, yeah, whatever. I was gonna say, what if we replace some of these with 3D programs? But nope, like, they, just, they do too much. We had 15 originally with three of us. Um, for those that are unaware, and so it made more sense. But now we only someone have should have 12. to use Google SketchUp. I don't know what that is, but I'm not thoughts. I I'll pick. I'll pick InDesign and just give myself okay. a. I'll pick InDesign. I and respect give, that. Give myself a challenge. Give myself a learning. I'll learn in this challenge. Okay. Don't it know what it is. Them? Haven't seen InDesign skill set, but I hear great things from the scouts. So, pick an InDesign. <laughs> that leaves Yuyo with the. There's two things left on the board. We did something wrong, y'all. I've only no, picked two. Three. Paint, Photoshop, Express, Canva. Oh. Photoshop Express was two words, so I didn't. I see. You got Even lost. I got lost. Express. I don't know. It's the mobile app of Photoshop. <laughs> ah. It's the mobile. Okay, app. I will take not uh, that. That, that. That might go With crazy. Last pick, Yuyo, what are you picking? I'm taking paint. Dang it! That was what I was getting for. I want to get. I want to get. I respect it. I respect it. Creative, because I checked, and Photopea has a magic, has a magic brush tool. Yeah, I either get so Canva I can or Photoshop some... Express. So this goes, goes crazy. <laughs> well, well, yeah. What is your final pick of the Think day? Think about it. I am you can stick side with Photoshop here. Express. You're Photoshop taking Express. Photoshop Express. No, don't yes, take it. I love made... Canva. No, you could have made Sai use his phone. Mm -hmm. That would have been great. I would have I would have used my phone. <laughs> That's the thing. I, I love Canva. All right. Cool. I don't know what to do. Because I can transition it all towards my phone. Wow, what a draft. So for those that are unaware we'll go through and read our teams my team is photoshop uh lightroom and indesign you use team what is your team Yu -Yu? I'm, I'm blender paint and photopea <laughs> yeah, it's gonna... that's yep. a pretty good one yeah. actually i, I like think I'm, i think I'm, I'm 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 the goat i'm mad you picked some 4d i had a lot of cool stuff I, 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 whatever. you have to use it yeah you gotta use it so whatever momo what's I read your, your team, I, read your team. Yeah. I have Figma, Illustrator, and Photoshop Express. I have right team. No, hold on. We gotta, we gotta talk about this team. Your team Sorry. sucks. The synergy there is rough. I'll be honest. I'm not. Yeah, you, you, you don't what see do you the have? vision. Figma, you don't see Illustrator, and Canva. Yeah, might be okay. No, no, Photoshop, uh, Photoshop Express. You don't see the vision. It might I, be okay. I'm seeing. You know what I'm seeing a lot of? I'm seeing a lot of locker room issues between your team. So yeah. <laughs> there's no leader in there. There's just a bunch of players. Know, they're, they're, all leaders. they're all leaders. They're, they're all leaders. And that's leaders. a problem. That's, they can't all be leaders. Right. They're going to bash heads. So I see a lot of locker room issues going on with that team. You'll see the visit. We'll see, see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. If you have a good coach, you know. That's me. That's me. I have Cinema 4D, After Effects, which is video Photoshop, <laughs> and Canva. I, I didn't realize I got Canva. <laughs> you said you were excited to have Canva. Uh, yeah, I thought it was... I, uh, fuck. <laughs> Honestly, there's a lot of... Like, there's a lot of top-end talent on that team. There's a lot of top-end and maybe can carry the bottom-end talent. So Holy. Do you have, like, Cinema 40 Canva star Canva is, player? like, a millionth-round draft pick ever. Wait, what is Canva? Do we not... It's, know? like... It's free. Photoshop for, like, it's moms. Oh, it is that. Like it's, it's like social media managers. You're gonna, like, you're gonna, you're gonna make a template, <laughs> but you're gonna I have a live, idea live. of taking the template and then putting it in something else, and then yeah. wow. Yeah, there you go. I, it's just the rules and the thing is, you have to make sure it's uh, implemented. You, yeah. you have to make yeah, sure it's visible, it. like you can tell, like you can point out what part you use. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Like, be like, oh, this was made in Canva, and this was made in... Africa. We don't know, like, the... This was made in Photoshop Express. Yet, aside from poster. Poster. Right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's all we know. We'll get to yeah, that we'll another stop. day. East, make an esports poster, guys. It's esports related. It might not be, actually. Yeah. We um, should not do that intentionally. Yeah. It should be naughty. It should be make a Bingus poster. Mm, I'd be good at that. Whatever it is, we'll have all the same assets, though. This is Bingus. With. But I'm allowed to. Oh, that, am I not allowed to blend. make my own assets? Yeah, with Blender. Like, what am I? How? how what am I allowed? Well, to you're do? not allowed. No, you, you can do whatever you want in Blender. I'm but saying, does like, that but mean I can't take a model stuff? from somewhere else. Because uh, I was gonna model my own stuff in Cinema. If like, you're modeling your own yeah. stuff, but like, yeah, no, I don't think you're allowed to. Unless it's in the. Oh, so here's the rule, because I know Cinema 40 has it. I don't know if Blender has it. There's a library in Cinema 40. Blender has a library too. Yeah. You can use huh. the library. That's it. Okay. Nothing. You can't import unless we. No. That's not going to be part um, of the base assets. Is I'm going to try to open Cinema 4D <laughs> right now and see what happens. No, no, wait, you're, no don't do it now while we're on the podcast. I don't need your camera crashing. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, but yeah. Quick, wrap fun. up, think, wrap up, wrap up. I think we could do more drafts in the future, just fun stuff, not even like actual ones. Like, But yeah, but yeah. so that's cool. I thought it would be a fun little thing. We None of us came prepared for that, so that was yeah. pretty raw. Yeah. Um, Episode was a little all over the place, so I do apologize to everyone. Foggy will be back. Episodes will be more concise, but I do like the the laxivity that we had on this one. And so hopefully we can find a medium, <laughs> a common ground. What just happened? You said the laxative, but wrong. <laughs> I said relaxativity. I know. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that's a good wrapping point. We didn't answer any questions. Sorry. No one asked any. All right. Well, the question was how to get a job in esports as a designer. Carefully. I think we set it up for them to get the layup. We get the layup. Yeah, 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 I mean, if we were listening intently to this entire thing, Double. every little sentence we said, then yeah, and you put it together. I'm sorry, make, first off. Make it tangible, <laughs> then then yeah, I think you did pretty well. But um, I think it's we'll wrap it up here. Um, yeah, I think. Wrap do we have anything like else we want to end Christmas it with? Eve. Do we want to do we okay. want another ranking thing? I'm down to do one more. Oh, ranking. we can do that. Do want to do a thinking of a question one, the, that one, no, the twenty question one. Oh, that's so fun though. Let's do. New year? What? Let's yes. do ranking here. Here we go. Ranking the design program without knowing what's next. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And I will pick five. Let me pick five really quick, just so I can't like screw you guys over and like. Let's um. Let's do, um. And this is just general design, right? Um, mm-hmm. um, hold on. Generalist design. Generalist. Yeah. Speaking I of just that, realized I that a... I need a Cinema 4D license. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we might be in some trouble here. No, I can make like a trial. I'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um... Whatever. <laughs> that's, that's, a... That might... That might... <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I need to figure out. A, I'll just take um, a screenshot of the splash. <laughs> you know what I don't need a license that. for? Paint. Bro, That's the... actually. I think you need Windows for it. No, you, you? well, but you don't need to activate okay, it. Okay, Photopea. There you go. Um, or Blender, for that matter. I'm a free user. Yeah, you use Team is no money spent challenge. Like Jesus. Yeah. Um. All right. I think I have the five. Are we ready to go? Yes. Sure. Number one, or the first one, Blender. Where are we Ooh. ranking that? Two. Yeah, good. Two's good. Sure, I was gonna say three, but okay. it has like it's niche, right? Two. Okay. Two. Okay. Next is Photoshop. One. 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 Okay. The consensus one. Next or is three. After Effects. Three. 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 Yeah, this is pretty easy. That's okay. fine to me. Here we go. We have two left. Photoshop Express. Bye. Nowhere <laughs> off the scale. <laughs> Does it have a spot? This was really bad, actually. Oh, I, okay, what's four? InDesign. Yeah, four. That was super easy. That makes sense too. That's I, I think best. I just answered them in the wrong. I should have given you them. I, like I should have given InDesign the first. opposite order. You should give it the InDesign, opposite I would have put yeah. five opposite order. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would have put it four. I think I would have. I've uh, used it before. It's not like yeah. useless. I probably would have put it four. I, I think I would have crushed it either way. I don't know what it is. It's just only. It's like if you're making a publication or a book. Or like it's like uh, that's all you're doing it for. Yeah, stuff like that, or like, like de- a slide brochure. deck. Like brochure. Slide deck. Like Ooh, I use PowerPoint it's, for some my slide it's, decks. It's yeah, really yeah, fancy. The reason you don't work there anymore. Um. 
Okay, well, let's do one more, one more. This last one, more, one okay. and then we'll, we'll end okay. the episode. Um, this one is going to be games. Just games right. and, like, just how good they are. How good the games are. Are they F- are they FPS games or are they solo? I, are they odd mix? Just games. I don't know. They're Board just games. games. All right. They're video games. Video games. Okay. I'm not going to put chess in there. Well, <laughs> I guess it's My favorite is a Olympic game. sport. <laughs> Olympic sport. <laughs> let, me, let me write a few games mm. down. Rock them, sock them, um, robots. Five. Uh, <laughs> no end game. It was an end game. It's you on the fucking floor. I'm gonna, what? I'm, I'm gonna write these down. <laughs> and then, um, Fun for me. Hold on. Hold on. Everything good over there, Roma? It was. It, it made me laugh too high. I'm saying. Mm, tell me. Okay. I'm gonna ask these in a different order. Are you ready for the yeah, first yeah, yeah. game? <clears throat> we will pick Valorant. Rank it. Rank it one through five. Five. Three. Four. Let's be realistic. <laughs> realistic. Four. Four. I think three. Six. Five. I want to say. I want to say three because like, I'm okay with three. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I, I watch I it. Have fun. I, I, I have yeah, fun. Yeah. It's a game that exists. Like, and not your own personal enjoyment. Let's talk like. Oh. It's a good game. Three. Oh, it's three. a good game. Yeah. We'll three. Okay. It'll give you a three. It's a fun uh, game. Let's do Minecraft. Not my favorite. Six. Um, <laughs> I would say. I thought I did Valorant with it there. Okay, yeah, probably two. I didn't just play in terms of popularity or enjoyment. No. Just enjoyment. enjoyment. Like how good enjoyment. of a game it two. is. Ten. <laughs> You're wow, like, you how are you a designer it? and don't like Minecraft? He I hate Minecraft. Play it. He's never played I've, it. I've never even beat it. What? Yeah. Only Minecraft I remember, like, he's ever played it, was hide and seek Minecraft. Or yeah, was, that was nuts when he at played it. with us and he was. Oh, it's scavenger hunt Minecraft. Scavenger hunt on my And I was crazy at it. Uh, he we gave him one item the entire time. Well, yeah, and I got it every time. Me and the other teammate got like twelve other items. But I got my item. He got his item. It was like <laughs> a flower. I got my one. Yeah. And the lion. And I got it. Um, I was running so through the Minecraft bios. at what? We have a two, two, and a ten. Are we? Are we good with two? Yeah. yeah he doesn't get like a vote if he's gonna. Play, yeah, if he's like, just gonna do this, it's yeah, put two. It two. I don't care. All right, two. Next game. Overwatch. One. I would. Stockholm Syndrome 1, Stockholm Syndrome I mean, 1, Stockholm Syndrome Stockholm 1. Stockholm Syndrome angle is definitely Stockholm 1. Syndrome, yeah, it's one. It's one. It is a Stockholm it's Syndrome. It's on. not a Stockholm thing. We're talking uh, objectively. I mean, like, I played uh, it five years. I have to put it at one. Uh, it's five years. Excuse me, not for six years. What? Or did you not play the first year? No, I did. Okay, I played for six years. Yeah, Nightmare. six years. Like, one. Yeah. <laughs> I think, even though I'm not happy with it at the moment, it's, I still let the game. So probably, okay, like, you're okay with it at yeah, the moment? I'm kind of with that. Well, the rank's kind of bad. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm not happy with. Um, rank's great for me. So what are we mm-hmm. putting it as? Yeah. What are my games today? One. Wait, is it above Valorant and Minecraft? Yep. Or yeah. below? Yep. Above. Right, above. Number one. One and one. Because Bias it. moment. And then we have Call of Duty. Five. 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 It's fun for a party game. With the last it's game. It's fun when you hate women. Tetris. What? Yeah. Happy with that. I would much what? rather play Tetris what? than Call of Duty. For sure. What? What? We can't do one. We can't do one. Or watch one. one. Watch one. No, so the list is as follows: by best games of all time, Overwatch, Minecraft, yep, Valorant, real. Tetris, Call of Duty. <laughs> real. Honestly, I would, I would. I'd swap Overwatch and Tetris. Yeah. And then I think you have a good list. No. It, okay. If it's I were listing that real. list that objectively, it would be Overwatch. Tetris. Objectively, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, you, in my you with Minecraft like on the list. Hindsight. Objectively, yeah. objectively, it would be Overwatch, Tetris, Valorant, mm, Call of Duty, Minecraft. That's the That's least objective wrong. thing. That's the most subjective list. Yeah, subjectively. I've ever seen. Objectively, it probably goes Minecraft, Tetris, Call of Duty, probably just because of how long it's been around, and then Overwatch, Valorant, because Valorant's so new. That's probably what it is objectively. Because yeah. sure. Overwatch, there's uh, I think Overwatch beats Valorant because there's no uh, Paladins is the only substitute, right? Valorant, you have CS:GO, you have R6, you have things that are kind of like. It. So I think that's the objective rating. You have Search and Destroy, Call of Duty. Um, no, okay, that was fun. I'll get more of those prepared. We'll we'll mix the twenty questions, the draft, um, and that's gonna be it for this week. Hopefully, you guys got some information or got entertained or something. Wednesday is five p.m. Eastern. This video, if it's not up Wednesday, five p.m. Eastern, the next Wednesday, five p.m. Eastern. There's another episode coming. It might come out on Friday or Saturday, or any other week. 
Just check be. every Wednesday, it, 5 p.m. Eastern. If it's not there, just know it's coming a few days later. All right. Maybe. This video, I'm betting $5. It will be up there on time. Or on Wednesday. Time, It'll be up on Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay, It'll be up on count. Wednesday. All right. So if it's not up by tomorrow, it's my fault. Or there's something wrong with the episode and this isn't getting aired at all. Could be that. Could be that. You can never Could know. Be that too. But uh, thanks everyone for tuning out. in. Uh, next week, we might have a special guest. We might not. It could be a week after. But we're doing some cool stuff. So thank you everyone for the support. Love you all. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.